are you one of those people like me who take everything they get from television and everything they get from news and run around with it to make arguments with whether your friends or your relatives? Well, today's video from Zimbabwean billionaire Strife Masiwa might change a little bit of your mind on how you would do that the next time. What's up guys, my name is Maro and on this channel we follow the African business news and we also follow the innovators and disruptors who are shaping the future of the African continent and in today's video we're going to learn a little bit about being skeptical towards the news and verifying the news before we use it from Zimbabwean billionaire Strive Masiwa. Take a listen to this video. How many here follow soccer, know the rules of soccer? Most of you, right? So if I say I came in here and I said, you know, oh, I was watching football last night just before I went to bed and Manchester City, don't like Manchester City. Me too. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But so, so I said, okay, Manchester City, we're winning 9-1. You would say, uh, was that soccer? The number. Or well, if I came in and I said, no, the score was 18-1. You'd say, no, 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 that, that wasn't soccer. Okay? In other words, you have such an understanding of the game that you know the numbers. Yes, it can. It can happen. Uh, you know, I remember when old Zaire was beat 9-1 or something by Yugoslavia, but some of you weren't born. Uh, we ran away. Uh, but... You, you know numbers. Business must be numbers. The entrepreneur must always function in numbers. Make numbers your best friend. Okay? And know when you see a number that this, this number, number doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense. Nine times out of ten I read stuff in our newspapers where they're not numerate numbers. They're not grasping the significance of numbers that you know and no one shouts and screams to say how, how can you say that i will admit that i was one of those people who just go through newspapers and i wouldn't really understand where the numbers were going wrong until this past week i came across a video on social media that kind of put me across and said really you might want to evaluate that and this video has gone viral on twitter maybe you have seen it but it is the perfect analogy of what Strive Masio was talking about here, which is that no matter how big a channel you're getting your news from is, or no matter how big of a newspaper it is in print, you might actually want to check and say, hold on, these numbers don't make any sense. You want to know what I'm talking about? Watch this upcoming video. But you see it as a possibility if he wants to spend a billion bucks beating this guy, he could do it. Absolutely. Um, somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. I've got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads. U.S. population, $327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American $1 million and have had lunch money left over. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's true. It's disturbing. It does, it does suggest, you know, what we're talking about here, which is there, there's too much money in politics. Well, at first value, it might seem like these guys actually know what they're talking about, which is that they're saying, well, a candidate in the United States election, Michael Bloomberg, spent $500 million in an election, which, of course, he dropped out at the end because he couldn't qualify in the primaries. They say there was $500 million which was spent by... Michael Bloomberg, and there's 327 million, which is the population of the United States of America. And they say, well, you could have given everyone a million dollars that they would go home and solve all their problems instead of wasting this money on running for the election, and you would have actually had change for lunch, as they say. But you say, oh, hold on, look at this. I mean, there are two ways you could look at this. You could first put all these people in a line. 327 million Americans, they're put in a line, you want to give them a million dollars each. You know who will get money? The first 500 people in the line will get a million dollars each. 500 multiplied by a million is equal to 500 million dollars. The rest will not get any money. 
But well, of course, if you just want to use the mathematics that we were taught in school, you would divide 500 million by 327 million. And you would get approximately a dollar fifty three, which is that if Michael Bloomberg was actually going to give out all the money that he used in the campaign to every American, they wouldn't get a million each because there are 327 million Americans and not 327 Americans. They would each get a dollar fifty three approximately. And this is the epitome of what Strive was talking about, which is that someone like me who likes to make arguments could have taken this argument straight from TV, gone around, running around. It doesn't make sense. But if you don't stop and evaluate the news that we get, we as African youth, we as African entrepreneurs might end up running with the wrong figures and you might see that you end up stating these figures thinking that you're talking about the market in front of investors and in the end you won't get any deal. And so next time you hear of facts and figures on TV, please do watch out and make sure that it actually makes sense. And now before you go, please do like my video and also do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Until next time, my name is Maro.